Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Arun Reddy Tech for you. In this video, we are going to discuss about C tokens. So friends, if you don't want to miss my video, please subscribe my channel Arun Reddy Tech for you and don't forget to like my videos. Coming to our topic, C tokens, the first token we are going to discuss is keywords. So coming to keywords, keyword is reserve word and it is used to perform specific function and uh, we have 32 keywords you can see there are 32 keywords below and these keywords are written in lowercase so all the keywords are written in lowercase and they cannot be used as a variable name so let us see a small example why they cannot be used as a variable name for example int int you can see int is a keyword if I declare int int it will not accept the, the compiler will not accept because int is already a reserved keyword and you can other you can see other examples like int void float while care if the all the four examples are wrong because the compiler will not accept the keywords as a variable name that's why we cannot use keyword as a variable name coming to our next token identifier so identifier is same like a variable name they both are common the same rules which we have in the identifier will be applied for the variable so let us see uh, the rules for the identifier the first rule we have is it must contain letter digit or underscore and the first letter should not be a number see we can have identifier as a letter digit or underscore but it cannot have a first letter as a number so let us see a small example you can see if I declare int a the compiler will accept but it will not accept int 3 because the first letter again it is a number coming to the next example I can write int m3 but I cannot write int 1a because again the first letter should be letter but not a number so you cannot write a number as a first letter Coming to the second rule, no other special characters is allowed. So we only accept, comp sorry, compiler will accept only underscore, other than underscore it will not accept. A small example here you can see, it compiler will accept char s underscore name, but it will not accept char a at the rate of name. So other than underscore, any special characters are not accepted. You can see a second example also int r underscore number it will accept but it will not accept int a dot b so even uh, dot is not accepted coming to the third rule it should not be a keyword we have already seen a same example in the keyword again we will once again see a example int roll number float percentage whatever you give it will accept but it will not accept keywords like int care int for Coming to the next rule, it must contain, sorry, it must not contain white space. Means white space means you should not leave any space between a variable name. For example, you can write s underscore name, but you cannot write s name. You can write r underscore number, but you cannot write r space number. So left side the compiler will accept, but right side it will show as an error. Coming to the next rule it should contain 31 characters 31 characters means letters for example you can see if above example in student roll number so let us count how many characters are there s is a one character two or uh, so t is a second character u is a three d is a four e n t so seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so as per our rule it should it will accept till 31 characters so variable name or identifier name can be declared till 31 characters if it is more than 31 characters it will not accept as you can see the below example it is more than 31 characters it is crossing 31 characters so compiler will not accept this variable name as an identifier coming to the next rule it is a case sensitive so it will differentiate between uppercase and lowercase it will not consider capital letters and small letters as same a small example if I declare int a small a and if I take a is equal to 5 it will accept but if I declare int small a 
and uh, if I ask capital A is equal to 5 it will it cannot recognize the capital A and it will say please declare A so it will differentiate between a capital A and small a coming to the next token which is constant constant again contains two types numeric constant and character constant again numeric constant again divided into two it is an integer constant real constant and character constants are divided into single character and string characters so let us see one by one first i will start with int then i will go real then i will go to the string a single character and string okay so integer constant so integer constant generally contains sequence of digits and uh, it must not have decimal points so it will not accept decimal points it can be either positive number or negative so it can be either positive or negative uh, no commas or uh, blank space are allowed in the integer so as we said integer can integer is a sequence of character uh, sequence of digits sorry sequence of digits uh, it can be positive or negative number it will accept c minus 9 it will accept 10 also it will accept but it will not accept decimal values 8.5 or uh, 6 comma 5 comma also it will not accept and even a blank space is also not accepted by integer so integer accept will sorry integer will accept digits either it may be positive or negative but not a decimal coming to the real constant real constant is nothing but a float constant and uh, it will accept decimal points for example you can see 10.6 9.6 and it can be either a positive or negative even if it is a minus 10 or plus 10 it will accept but it will not accept commas and blank space see you can see 8 space 5 it will not accept or you can try you cannot write uh, 6 comma 5 generally we used to write in the 10,000s and lakhs we used to keep a comma if you keep comma the real constant will not accept coming to the next in the character constant first one is a single character constant so in the single character constant it is a single alphabet it may be alphabet sometimes it may be number you can see one sometimes it may be a symbol question mark so anything should be enclosed between a single quotations you may have a doubt sir how can a number can be a character yes it can be a character just like a phone number and it cannot be used for a calculations so once you declare in the single quotations it cannot be used as a use for a calculations so number will act as a character uh, next one is string constant string constant is a sequence of characters here we will have a more than one character then it is called as a string and uh, it is enclosed in between a uh, double quotations so character is enclosed in a single quotation and uh, string is enclosed in a double quotation character is a single character and string is a sequence of characters okay coming to the next symbols so we have some special symbols in our uh, C language for example braces comma semicolon a small example you can see void main main contains again a brackets and our programs and uh, starts with the flower bracket and ends with the flower bracket you can also see variables two variables are separated by a comma comma symbol is used to separate two variables uh, and uh, semicolon semicolon so it will end the line so to end the C lines we use generally a semicolon coming to the last one operator there are lot of operators like arithmetic operator relational operator logical operator bitwise operator increase and uh, sorry increment and decrement operator and assignment operator so let us see one by one first arithmetic operators these arithmetic operators are used to add two or more operators or subtract multiply divide reminder modulo okay the last one is a reminder modulo you can see there is a difference between a division and reminder modulo uh, 9 by 4 it will give the division and when I say 9 percentile 4 it will give the reminder so modulo will give the reminder remaining as usual addition subtraction multiplication and division coming to the next relational operator this operator is used to compare two operands for example 5 is equal to 3 if it is true it will give a uh, 0 and if it is false it will give as a 1 and uh, you can see there are 6 operators equals to less than greater than not equal to equal to uh, greater than equal to less than equal to coming to next operator logical operators 
logical operators are used to compare between two operands and uh, you can see there is a first uh, symbol is double and and uh, this logical and will uh, suppose there are two conditions and uh, both the conditions are true then only it will be true in the or if the both the conditions are false then only it will be false others are true and uh, coming to the not not is reversed suppose if it is a true not true equal to false and uh, not false is equal to true bitwise operators contain six operators uh, like a uh, bitwise and bitwise or bitwise exclusive or and negation symbol will be used for the bitwise complicate uh, complement and uh, shift left and shift right there is another operator called assignment operator which is which use equals to and uh, we we can also join arithmetic operators with the assignment operators like plus equal to minus equal to or equal to less than equal to uh, percentile equal to sorry not less than div uh, division equal to and module equal to coming to next operator it's a increment and decrement operator increment and decrement operator is also called as unary and sorry unary operator uh, I, let me take a small example a equal to 10 so if i say a plus plus a plus plus is nothing but a, a equal to a plus 1 nothing but 11 a minus minus again a equal to a minus 1 nothing but a 9 thank you keep practicing